There are differences, and I think some of the terminology is very confusing for the average person in uh, practice. Uh, and I want to highlight uh, the uh, differences. Uh, for instance, patients with neuroendocrine uh, cancers, um, they have a different course than patients with neuroendocrine carcinomas. Uh, so neuroendocrine carcinomas, uh, particularly the high-grade ones, are those that uh, have a clinical uh, they are clinically aggressive. They resemble small. They could have small cell components, large cell components. Uh, it's defined as a carcinoma if there's at least greater than 30 percent of a neuroendocrine component as well as a carcinoma component. Uh, these tumors, since they're so aggressive clinically, they need to be treated with chemotherapy, topocyte, and uh, carboplatin or cisplatin. On the other hand, grade three neuroendocrine cancers. Uh, they are defined as patients who have a mitotic index greater than 20 per high power field or a KI-67 of greater than 20 percent. These patients have uh, an outcome that's somewhat in between the more indolent neuroendocrine um, tumors and these high-grade carcinomas. Uh, and typically, these patients are treated with uh, uh, traditional agents uh, such as Everolimus, uh, one can also use if there's extensive bulky disease and patients are symptomatic, uh, capecitabine and temozolomide is, is a reasonable approach. Otherwise, they could be treated in the way you would treat uh, the lower grade neuroendocrine tumors.